When addressing knee pain, we gotta look at the whole body. So make sure you check out hip exercises, pelvis around the leg specifically, and the foot exercises. But let's talk about the knee specifically. So we've got the slant board at number one. Mariska is going to have her back heel on and her front leg off. We also have the connector strap for upper body support. From here, she's going to step up and back down. So the foot is on the backboard. She's allowing those knees to go past the toes safely with a lot of feedback from the foot and a lot of support from the upper body. You can also stand in front of your client for shoulder support so they can do their VMO step up with more control and balance. This is one of my favorite exercises to get the knees past the toes in a safe range of motion and pain free. Let's start with position. Front the leg to start, have that leg underneath the board so we don't wanna see the toenails. Take the strap with a purple spring and place it on the back foot because we want this back heel elevated but with some support. So from here, the goal is to bend that front knee to get it, touch the, get it to touch the board and move away. So the whole body's gonna come forward and back. Now, if that's too easy for the client, we can easily walk that foot back and work the range of motion. We wanna make sure that heel is not elevating as they come in and starting the client small and increase the range of motion as they feel comfortable. Now we're gonna look at terminal, not fatal, knee extension. I love this slant board here because let's be honest, a lot of our clients can't sit upright getting their pelvis all the way around their leg. So we can have the hand supported and their body back on the board. Then from there, we'll have the strap behind the knee asking the client to press down and slide the foot back in. So we can go down and up. We can also bring some feedback to this leg with a second strap but sometimes less is more, and this is a beautiful way to get some feedback in terminal knee extension. Hold here. We can also add in a little pure hip flexion there. Not easy. We can also add a little bit of an arc and big. And I can start adding a yoga block, having them go above. I can get real mean and lift it. I can get real mean here and relax. Now we're gonna look at the bridge fuse ladder style. What I like to do is take the spring from the right side, cross it over to the left. So then we, we gotta get a little hip action here. So from this position, I'm just gonna ask my client to go up into a bridge and back down. I'm gonna ask them to keep pressing into that side of the strap as they go. Also gives us two different foot and leg positions to really challenge the brain's response. Now, Mariska, bring your butt a little closer and bring this foot up as well. I can also take a double loop to the other side here. Now, it will make a little noise here, but have that client come up and down, maintaining the pressure into the straps at their bridge. And you can vary the height of this to work on different ankle ranges of motion. A lot of our clients, they're so stiff and tight in the front of the leg, having their foot flat, not always ideal. So you can work them up and down, and we can also Take this down one notch to change the ankle position if needed. When working with the knee joint, we wanna make sure our clients have motor control no matter that position of the knee. I don't want them to only be in control when it goes over their second toe. I want it in all directions. So I've got a spring from in front on the front leg and a spring to the back foot. From here, I'm gonna ask Mariska to step forward a little bit and bend into that front leg. Okay, keep that back leg straight if available, and I want you to bring your knee in and out, okay? So we can let the foot move with the knee. We can even throw in a knee circle. Yep, let that body move. And I can also come here and pin the foot and ask Mariska to go knee in as I keep the foot here, and I can have her do knee out as I monitor that foot so it can't go, moving around that calcaneus and foot. So really great feedback in the leg. We can pin the foot in addition to letting that whole knee circle around the foot. Beautiful.